half of Iapetus appears as dark as asphalt, and the other half is as bright as snow. When Cassini discovered Iapetus in 1671, he could only see the bright side. We had a better glimpse when Voyager 2 flew past in August 1981, but that was from almost a million kilometers away. Thanks to the World Wide Web, I've been following the progress of Cassini Huygens from the time it was launched several years ago. As you know, I have more than a passing interest in Saturn. Cassini is going to come within a little more than 1,000 kilometers of Iapetus. Cassini has also had its first close look at Iapetus, a satellite with one face as black as asphalt and the other as white as newly fallen snow. Bisecting Iapetus' dark side, Cassini has discovered an incredible ridge of ice that runs over 800 miles along the moon's equator and contains mountains three times as high as Everest. Elsewhere on Iapetus, Cassini's cameras capture the aftermath of a huge landslide that partially obliterates the floor of a great basin ringed by walls of ice over nine miles high. Later flybys of Iapetus will bring us views up to 100 times sharper. years later, 
I can't remember why, placed the Saturn monolith on Iapetus. But at that time, in the early days of the space age, Earth-based telescopes couldn't show any details of this celestial body. exciting moment for fans of 2001, the Space Odyssey, because that's where the lone astronaut, Dave Bowman, discovers the Saturn monolith, which turns out to be, uh, to be a gateway to the stars. Science projects are tremendously important for our understanding of the solar system. 